So, speaking of the album, do you want to go to one of the tracks off of it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, you got a choice. I got a choice. All right, so I'm going to say, um, since we're, yeah, so what, how about The Curious Story of Brad Halsey? That would probably be the one I would pick, and then I'll, I'll describe kind of what that's about after, after we're done. Okay, so here we shall go. Right. Once this computer decides to want to load it, <laughs> you're being slow. It had too much of a break in between things. Yeah. There we go. That sounds good. Right. Even though we're socially distancing, we have a small <laughs> studio audience. <laughs> Is that a clap track? <laughs> of course. We have all the cool over 200 buttons. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, cool. Yeah, thanks for playing that. Oh, um, no problem. I always let the musicians have the choice of whatever tracks. It's sort of a old school <laughs> thing. Yeah, they're probably going to pick the weirdest ones usually. <laughs> Not necessarily. Yeah. Well, I know I I do. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so, so yeah, that one's titled uh, The Curious Story of Brad Halsey. Um, so yeah, for for folks that, that aren't involved in like Major League Baseball, Brad Halsey was uh, was um, uh, a pro pro baseball player. Um, he uh, you know, he uh, his uh, he he died. I think it was a few years a few years back. But uh, the interesting thing about, about Brad is that he was actually part of the same internet cult group that I was. Um, so we, we didn't overlap in that sense. Like I, I got out around 2011 and then he kind of came, I think he was part of it from like 2013 for a couple of years, maybe. Um, not exactly sure on the dates. Um, but yeah, so, so the thing with, with Brad Halsey was is that he's, he was a pretty unstable person to begin with. I mean, he was not doing well in the majors, um, and he kind of got into some just weird stuff. I mean, uh, he got into – he was apparently addicted to Adderall. Um, it's kind of referenced in the song, Three Addies a Day, um, and found this this – internet cult group and kind of just went off the deep end. Like it was, you know, just reading about it was just a really sad story and just kind of reminded me like why, why I'm choosing to kind of get this message out still and why, why, why it's important. You know, um, he didn't, you know, it's, it's unclear whether he actually killed himself or it was an accident. Um, he ended up uh, falling off a cliff uh, near his hometown in Texas, but, um, Regardless, like his life was not going well at the time. Um, and, and I mean, by all accounts, like this, this internet group was not, not helping things. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah. So <laughs> kind of, kind of a downer, but like, it's, yeah, I mean, at the same time, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's something where, I mean, this also highlights kind of part of my songwriting style too. Sometimes what I'll do is, um, is I'll, I'll find like some sort of news article or maybe even like a series of news articles. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll start pulling out quotes and just little people, little blurbs of text from it. And then eventually like it'll coalesce around verses, possibly a chorus or whatever, like actually turn into a song. And I've done that for, you know, for several songs. It's it's kind of an interesting way of writing, um, and it really helps you kind of like step out of yourself too. I feel like, um, as a as a songwriter, anyways. Well, most uh, definitely, because I would have to say this is the first time necessarily I could ever say someone actually said that <laughs> ever. It's really definitely awesome. a unique way of being able to write your own sort of lyrics or songs of taking here and there bits and parts of that come across in your life and sort of piecing them all together. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's another song on the album called freezer burn Sumati, which is about a, a, a different cult group based in India. But that was again, inspired by a news article where it was just me pulling out bits of texts um, not so much from the news article itself, but I ended up finding this cult group's um, manifesto, you could say, online. Yeah. And a lot of the lyrics are actually just like bits of that manifesto taken out and put into a song form. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's it's just something I like to do. I mean, not every song on the album is written that way, but it's it's definitely a style that I've 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 been trying to kind of um, build on, develop it and fine tune it pretty much. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But off of this, I'll sort of go. 